Airhawk Pro is a portable handheld air compressor that works on battery power. Can it really inflate a tire in minutes? That's what I'm going to find out in this review of Airhawk Pro. Airhawk Pro has been advertising for a while, but it just showed up in stores here in Las Vegas just this past week in February 2017. I bought it at a local Target for about $60. For my first test, I'm just going to do some tire inflation and a basketball to see how it works overall. First thing the instructions say to charge the battery for three hours before use, so I'm going to do that right now. And now we wait. You've probably seen the advertising for Airhawk Pro. Um, it shows it as an air compressor that works efficiently in filling up tires quickly. Um, you, all you do is turn it on, select the air pressure that you desire, press the button, and it inflates until it reaches that air pressure and then it shuts off. That's what it's supposed to do in theory, but does it really work? Here's my test. So as you can see, this tire is very flat. I'm gonna try to inflate it up to about 32 PSI, and we'll see how well the Airhawk does with that. It shows eight PSI, which is about what my other tire gauge shows. I'm gonna put it at 32 pounds. All right, the gauge is accurate. I push the button, and it seems to be going on its own. It's supposed to stop at 32 PSI. Well, that was only about six minutes or so. That's not too bad. It didn't shut off automatically at 32. I don't know why it didn't. I hit the button and it shut off. But I'm gonna double check the measurement with the other tire gauge and see if it actually is at 32. That's quite a ways over 32. It's at 38. So maybe the gauge isn't that accurate, but it filled it up quickly. It didn't stop on its own. Um, I can forgive the gauge being a little bit off because it performed pretty well. I'm happy with how easy it was to use, except for the fact that it didn't shut off at 32 pounds. The Airhawk instructions state that you should probably use a separate gauge to make sure you have accurate results. I agree with that because the gauge in my tests on the Airhawk Pro was off. Alright, next up I got this old basketball that's pretty flat right now. Showing zero. It's not really showing any uh, air pressure, but it feels like it's almost full already. Well, the gauge was not accurate, but it filled it up very quickly. So I'm actually 
again, I can forgive the gauge if it works that efficiently. The instructions state that the battery should last about uh, 15 minutes on one charge. Because the first one uh, inflated so quickly, I'm going to try doing a second tire and see if I can get two tires inflated on one charge. Got this one down to about 15 pounds. Let's first see if the air hogs gauge is accurate and then see how long it can take to fill it up and if you can do it on the same charge as the first tire. Okay, the air hogs showing 12, my gauge showing 15. So I'm going to probably have to check it throughout the filling process, but um, I just want to see if it can fill a second tire on the same charge. I'm going to stop it at 24 pounds and see where the actual reading is at. Interesting, when I took it off and put it back on, now it shows 19.5 when it showed 24 before. I don't think it lost that much just switching the gauges over. So I think the gauge is a little bit off, but we'll, see, we'll keep going. As with the first tire, it hit the, the target PSI but just kept going, but it didn't show an increase in pressure, so I had to manually put the trigger. Now let me see if the pressure actually did increase even though the gauge wasn't showing an increase in pressure. I'm showing it just slightly above 30 pounds, so it did continue to fill the tire. The reason I set it 28 instead of 32 is because it overshot last time and I wanted to make sure I didn't overshoot too much this time. So, once again, gauge is not accurate, but it does a pretty good job of filling the air. This is, it's filled the second tire on the same charge. That's actually a pretty good performance, if you ask me. So the results of my first two tire tests were that it inflated a tire from eight pounds to 38 pounds in six and a half minutes, and then from 15 pounds to 30 pounds in about four minutes. It inflated the basketball in a few seconds. One interesting note is that the manual shows that you can get parts and extra batteries at airhawkparts.com but at this time here's what I'm seeing at that website I'm sure it'll be open at some point but it's kind of funny they shipped it before the website was ready to go another feature of the airhawk pro is that in addition to the battery which takes about three hours to charge there is a 12 volt adapter for your car it also snaps on the same as the regular battery does this one plugs in your 12 volt adapter and it can give you additional power. The 12 volt adapter is not used to charge the battery, it's a separate unit so they don't really connect to each other. It's just um, provided to give you more continuous power if you need it using the 12 volt adapter in your car. This is going to be my first test. If you have any suggestions about how I can test it in future reviews, please leave me a comment and tell me what you think I should do. If you like this review, I'd appreciate it. Subscribe so I can continue to bring you as seen on TV product reviews in the future. Until next time, this is James White with Freakin' Reviews. Thank you.